Last night, the announcement, tonight the fallout. Cardinal Doherty and Northeast Catholic will close at the end of the school year. Tonight, both Doherty parents and students gravitated to the school. Here is Action News reporter Nora Mushanik at the school as well. Nora? Good evening, Jim. Students and parents were hoping to get some answers tonight about the controversial decision to shut Doherty down by the end of the year, but unfortunately, many of them came away more frustrated than they were before. While their children demonstrated outside, parents of Cardinal Doherty High students met inside with administrators to learn more about the sudden announcement Thursday that this landmark school will be closing at the end of the year, as well as Northeast Catholic. Some were not satisfied. They didn't answer anything. No one had no, no answers for us. They didn't have anything for us. We're not stupid. We understand enrollment was down in Catholic schools. We're not surprised by that. But to not give us the opportunity to explore different options. What my understanding was, he was saying there's really nothing we can do, even if we try to bring money to the table. In Frankfurt, students and families of Northeast Catholic were protesting, too. They are also trying to figure out how to stop the archdiocese from closing that school. This is really heart-wrenching, and we're going to fight this tooth and nail to keep this school open. Some parents feel betrayed because they were assured before enrolling their children the schools wouldn't close. As far as I'm concerned, my daughter would never go to another Catholic school. It's a done deal. Okay, because I don't want to be faced with this again. I gave them the, the answer and the information and the knowledge that I had at the time. Yesterday, 7 o'clock, that information and knowledge changed. Leaving students heartbroken and begging to graduate from the schools they love. Please help us see my school. We've all come through so far together. We've all spent the last two years and we don't want to end our CRLG like this. Well, lots of tears here tonight, Jim, but uh, despite the vows of, from many that they will fight the closures, the Archdiocese is saying that it will not reverse its decision. Live in East Oak Lane, I'm Nora Mushanik, Channel 6 Action News. Have to feel for the students, though. Thank you, Nora.